on and pack your camping gear for the same place we go every year. Oh, I can't wait to hang out with my friends, with my friends. Bug bites, food fights, tanning lines. I'm gonna leave the normie world behind to dance with cuties at the water's end. But when the sun goes down, the trees are mutated. Is my flashlight fading or am I hallucinating? Okay, I think it's recording. Welcome to Camp Strangewood. My name is Millicent, and um, I go by Millie. And yeah, I guess I can start with... So my dad is like the creature from the Black Lagoon. From that movie, yeah. And Hollywood tried to sort of kill his career after that movie, pretending the creature was an actor in a suit. But it was actually my dad. Like, that's what he looks like. It's his birthday suit, legit. And he's a little bit bitter about that. So now he's a producer, you know, doing big things behind the scene. Acting was never really his thing anyways. And he only resented being liked for his looks. So, yeah. But I take after my mom more than my dad, but also <laughs> put me in some water and you'll see my dad appear <laughs> along with some of his uh, less than great personality. Like, you know that movie, Aquamarine or The 13th Year? Year, They actually nailed it, but add some divorce because, you know, a drop of water. <laughs> and blam, I'm suddenly the thoroughly swampy Millie. And it's, um, it's something. So anyways, how am I feeling about tonight? I don't know. I'm excited, if only just to film it. I've never seen someone die before, so I'm totally excited about that. And you know, when my dad came to Camp Strangewood, he said that Cabin 4's annual drowning was what he looked forward to every year even though no one actually knows about it, except for Cabin 4. And I guess Don? But literally, what is Don? It could be short for Dagon, a great watery old one or something. Don gone. I think probably not, but like I was saying, it's the first time I'm participating in one drowning. So we'll see. I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm a pacifist, of course, when I'm dry, but at the end of the day, it's not personal. So don't call PETA on me, us. It's just what we see monsters and their spawn do to humans. And sometimes like small animals or cows. We're just monsters at the end of the day. And I think what I'm trying to say is that, well, I'm, yeah, a monster. No, cut, cut, cut. Don't use that. Rawr? What the fuck? Oh, note to self, don't use that. Note to self, after a long day of work, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Jane, Jane, cut, Jane. Okay, sorry. That was like my 
best Valerie Cherish impersonation. Did anyone see that show? My dad loves it. Anyways, hi, I'm Millie. <laughs> I'm actually making the movie or filming it. It's a documentary, I guess, not a movie. <laughs> and I'm editing it, so I don't know who I'm talking to. I just want to get into Stanford or USC, really, that's all. And I'm talking to, oh well, myself, I guess. Okay, I'm turning it off. Bye. So, oh, um, sure. Hi, I'm Jim. I am the counselor for cabin four, or I guess it's shipwreck cabin this summer. We have some dramatic campers. I used to be the counselor for another cabin, but then Dawn got mad at me because I told everyone that she's actually a worm and that's why we never saw her as a joke. But Dawn doesn't like jokes and someone told her I said she was a worm. So after Jessica quit last summer, Dawn assigned me to shipwreck cabin, which apparently is bad or, or not good, or so I hear. But so far it's actually been pretty nice. We have some really great campers, sure. Their parents called Dawn a lot to check in, et cetera. So that's really intense sometimes, but I actually really like a lot of them like Ducky and Ariel and Kappa and Mole sometimes and Millie and <laughs> sure. Mope, can you talk a little bit more about them? Don't they go by Mole? Oh yeah, we weren't sure if you knew that though. You were just mispronouncing it. It's a common mistake. Of course I knew that. I am your camp counselor. I know your names. Right. Um, so anyways, can you talk a little bit more about Mole? Mole Anthemusa. What a name. Yeah. Is it like Greek or what the heck? I thought you would know. I don't. Oh, okay. But yeah, Mole is, um, definitely one of the best singers at camp. That's so true. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, um. Oh, I think he's fainted. Jim? 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 I guess Jim fainted. Jim? 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 Oh, hi, Jim. Oh, sorry, I passed out there for a minute. Yeah. But anyways, what was I saying? Um, mole. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're kind of mean to me sometimes. Oh. Can you elaborate on that? They said I smelled like cottage cheese on cottage cheese night last week even though I assured them that it was in fact the cottage cheese that smelled like cottage cheese and that it was not me. That kind of felt bad, but I got through it. I am the counselor. I have to, why are you recording this again? Memories. Right. Um, well, I feel a little uncomfortable. Okay, wait, that's fine. But can you talk about Marina really quick? You didn't mention her. Millie, I really don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Please, it's for camp memories. And um, Dawn said that I could do this as a side. Wait, part. Dawn is making you do this? Yes. Shit. I mean, poop. Um, 
yeah, I probably shouldn't be saying things about my campers then, even if they are really mean. Even if they were named Marina and told me that if she were a sea witch, which she assured me she's not, which I believe, but that if she was, that she would curse me to have a rain cloud over my head because I told them I had depression. But then after she said she'd curse me if she could, it always started raining whenever I stepped outside for a week. So yeah, even if Marina had done that, I definitely wouldn't say it on this video at all. And I definitely wouldn't ask you to talk to her and ask her if she could be nicer. I wouldn't. Instead, I would just say, hello, Dawn. Hi. Hope to see you someday, you not worm you. That would be great. That would be great. All right. Well, that's, um, I'll definitely not include that in the final. Wait, was that not about me? Was he not talking about me? Uh, no, no, of course not. I would never say Kim, this is why we all hate you. And Mills, what the hell? You're just letting him say all that? Technically, he wasn't saying that. And Marina, I'm a documentarian. I can't tell people what to say. Whatever. Jesus, that's so embarrassing. And also, for your information, I didn't put a curse on you. And I would never put a curse on you because you're depressed. Newsflash, literally all of us in this cabin are. We're water signs with bad brain chemistry, Jim. But if I did put a curse on you, Jim, it'd be because you're a wet blanket. A damp, moist, soggy blanket that ruins literally everything around you. Of course, I literally can't do that because I'm not a fucking sorceress. And your unfounded belief that I am is, frankly, kind of sexist, fucked up, and extremely typical of this camp staff. It rained for a week. Every single time my foot crossed the threshold of this cabin. I caught a cold. Well, you should have taken more emergency. It doesn't actually work. Mills, are you seriously filming this? No. Oh, 
That was really good. What the fuck? Who? Who there? It came from one of the shower radios. it's mainstream now that's of not of course it's mainstream everybody loved it they loved it people wouldn't stop talking about it people didn't love it well the academy loved it they loved it you loved it mole other people thought it was visually beautiful but ultimately fine yeah, my dad said there were all these plagiarism accusations too i didn't know that yeah i think he was just mad he was involved well it won best picture but The Shape of Water should not have won Best Picture. Well, it did. And all I'm saying, Millie, is that I wouldn't worry about Kelly not liking you because you're part fish person. That's hot now. Plus, your dad's famous. The Shape of Water was not hot. It was hot. You're a freak, Mole. It's not like I'm going to tell her. And like, what? So you're saying if I did tell her, you think Kelly would be a freak if she found me hot? as half swampy? Ooh. What? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I I'm just saying, whatever. I said you literally almost revealed to Jim you were a sea witch. Okay, but I didn't. Marina's just mad because Ladybird didn't win. No, I do not care who won and who didn't win. It's fine. It's fine. Sure, my mom and I's relationship is literally just like Lady Bird, and I feel like Lady Bird, like 100%. Yeah. yeah. But it's fine. Let's all fuck fishes, get shot, and call it romance, as like Gil Sprout or something. Let's do that, instead of actually feeling something and crying in the theater because of mom-daughter relationships. Fuck fishes, get shot? Okay, now you're just being cruel. I I'm a Scorpio, bitch. Get over it. I cry and I'm cruel. I'm cryule. And I'm an unfuckable fish hoe, according to you. You are not. Oh my God, Mills, that is not what I meant, obviously. I, I didn't like one movie. It's not even like it's a documentary or something. It's fiction, fiction. Why don't you recreate it with Kelly and you can make it a documentary and you can film that or something? I don't know. Oh, wait, Millie, your, uh, your camera's flash is still on. You must have left it on from earlier. Oh, no. Um, I'm recording this. What? Yeah, I want this Camp, camp Strange documentary <laughs> to be as authentic to our daily dynamic as possible. I also recorded Cluckerfer's funeral. I'm literally going to kill you if you don't delete this. Oh, come on, you didn't say anything out of line. Yeah, but if my mom watches this and realizes that... I love her like Lady Bird loves her mom. I will literally die. Our whole relationship is built on the fact that she's a powerful sea witch and I am too and there's tension and like who will be stronger. Like, it's like the opposite of Oedipus, I think. Ah, ew, no. Without the incest. Now your mom will see it. Who is this even for? You told Jim it was for Dawn? Is that really who it's for? Ooh, Dawn.
It's for college. Girl, you are like, third. you're like 12. That's in like five years. Okay, you're 13, so relax. I'm applying to film schools. It's never too early. Plus, I want to have choices on what to send in, and I want to make a self stuff film. A what? Oh my God, what? Mills, you can't. Why not? We were going to kill someone tonight anyways, right? What's wrong if I just film it? I mean, yes, obviously, we're in cabin four, but like, we can't film it. It's supposed to be a secret. Just between the cabin, the moon, the counselor, and Jennifer. Just like the fact that we're all actually monsters and witches and shit. That's supposed to be a secret too, and you're just recording all of our secrets. Is Janet supposed to be like a real secret? Really? I thought it was pretty well known, like a fake secret everyone pretends they don't know, but actually do. Like in Harry Potter, where they keep replacing the defense against- Ah, 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 ew. Do not bring up Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling is a turf, okay? And Millie, it is definitely supposed to be a secret. (laughs) And again, um, what is a snuff film? It's like a film where someone literally dies on screen. So like a horror movie? No, like the person literally dies, like literally dies in real life and it's filmed. Oh, what the fuck? That's so fucked up. Exactly. I think it'll be brilliant. We can't film it. Why? Because like I said, it's supposed to be a secret. Jesus, are you still filming this? No. You know what? Fuck it. If you're filming this, hello. Hi. Hello, watcher. Welcome to Camp Strangewood or in this case, Cabin 4, or as we've named it this year, Shipwreck Cabin, ooh. It was my idea. I like it when boats get wrecked. I'm a siren. Yep, your lame idea. Anyways, I'm Marina, and tonight is the last full moon in July, gentle viewer. And every year, Cabin 4 drowns their counselor on the last full moon in July in order to appease the Camp Strangewood Lady of the Lake, named Jennifer. No one has really seen her, and we don't really know at this point if she's real or she exists, but we're rich and it's tradition. And if we don't do it, our parents will basically disown us. What? Yeah, yeah. uh, My mom said if I can't kill men, I might as well just give up on being a siren and go into STEM. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mole. Yeah. But like I was saying, our parents did it, our grandparents did it, our great-grandparents did it, our great-great-grandparents did it. Oh my God, the Loch Ness Monster came to Camp Strangewood? Yes, Mole. Great-great-grandma Nessie was part of the first group of campers that did it actually, after Jennifer, who for anyone watching at home was actually the name of the lake lady. Uh, But that you won't know because Mills, you are definitely deleting this fucking footage. I didn't realize you were Scottish. I'm not going to delete it. Yes, you are. No, Marina, I'm not. I'm sorry, I want to get into film school and daddy can't just buy my way in anymore after everything that happened with Aunt Becky or whatever. So I have to do something that'll stand out. And I think a very realistic death on a so-called camp documentary is exactly what I need. And I just say, you know, it's a... Uh, Really good effects, officer. And uh, slip him a Benjamin or a donut, and we'll be fine. Millie, it's a documentary. There are no really good effects in a documentary. It's just, it's just real. Reenactments have effects. I swear to God, if you ruin this tradition, ruin it for us. Ruin it for Jennifer, who literally relies on this. Okay, does she though? Like, are we doing this for Jennifer? For our parents? For us, like- Mills, if you ruin it for Shipwreck Cabin and for great-great-grandma Nessie, my mom will kill me and you and you. Well, that's not what the mom and Lady Bird would do. So I kind of doubt it.
Avril was saying that the chicken fingers today were made out of Cluckifer's body. I love that movie. What? Jennifer's body? It sounds like Jennifer's body with Megan Fox. Oh my God. And the fact that Jennifer is also the name of the lady in the lake. Jennifer's body of water. We probably ate a camp pet today. Rest in peace. He was delicious. I know. With the ketchup. Wait, okay. So, so you all promised to do little mini interviews. Right. Yeah, because you wouldn't shut up, and I promised that if you did, I'd be in your movie. Sometimes a director has to use unconventional tactics to get what she wants. And you're going to be in it anyway, so at least you get to decide how you look. <sighs> oh, you're going to fit right in in Hollywood. Blech. Well, you first. Fine. Okay, so how do you feel when you found out you were going to be in Cabin 4? Uh, well, first, <clears throat> hi, I'm Molpa, but I go by Mole. Um, and I guess I always knew I was going to be in Cabin 4. Um, I'm a siren, and I sort of have aquatic blood on both sides of my family, my mom can trace her lineage to, like, the sirens mentioned in The Odyssey, basically. Yeah, there's, like, um, a story that my great-grandma actually did manage to get Odysseus to, like, kill himself. But apparently Homer didn't want to tell her story, so he just, like, made up the rest of The Odyssey, which, like, boring. <laughs> which is, you know, like, whatever. Um, sexism. So... All to say, I think I always knew I was going to end up here eventually. Didn't realize it was going to be this year. But Dawn called my mom and told her, and it was time. So, yeah. Like, I mean, my mom and Dawn go way, way back. Fun fact about Dawn is that Dawn actually survived her drowning when she was the counselor of Cabin 4 because Jennifer, who's the Lady of the Lake, for anyone following at home, had a crush on Dawn and didn't want her to die when she saw her. There's a rumor that Dawn and Jennifer are actually still dating, uh, which is why Dawn puts up with all of this. Um, but there's also a rumor that Dawn didn't actually survive and was actually resurrected as a waterlogged corpse to serve Jennifer for the rest of eternity, which is why people don't really see her around anymore, but I don't know. I don't know what's true. I like to believe they're in love. Um, but in terms of if I think I'm ready to uh, uh, drown someone. Um, no. And no, I don't think I'm ready. I actually kind of wish I went to math camp um, and became a marine biologist or I guess I still can, but you know, what happens at camp sort of begins the rest of your life. And at the end of the day, I am also terrified of disappointing other people. So I usually just end up doing too much and participating in scary things anyway. And uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a cancer. Obviously, you're a people pleaser. Um, okay, anything else? Um, are you excited? I don't think so. I like Jim at the end of the day. I don't really like want to kill him. He smells like cheese sometimes, but I don't blame him for that. Like, that's not the reason he should die. He just kind of has to. It's sort of what I do, what 
sirens do and what Jennifer wants and my mom. Right, right. Well, thanks. My dad also says this is just what we do, so I get it. You get it. My turn? Yep. So, hi, I'm Marina, sea witch, but it's a secret. My great-great-grandmother is the Loch Ness Monster on my dad's side, but that's a secret too. And my mom is just like a powerful sea witch who can like do whatever she wants with water and sailors and the like, which is also, of course, a secret. I'm a Scorpio, like you've probably picked up in some other video of mine that Mills has been recording without my consent. And in terms of being in cabin four, I mean, duh, it's a given that the most powerful sea witch of her generation would be here eventually. What are you looking at, Ariel? Don't like sea witches? Oh, let's all cry. You better not chicken out tonight, little Miss Mermaid. Also, what is this shit? I've heard you've been hanging out in the fucking well. What are you, the fucking ruin girl? God. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Is it your first time drowning someone? Duh, what kind of a question is that? You think people named Marina just go around drowning people? That's like so cliche. Just because my name is like watery? I mean, come on. Hi there, cabin four. Hi, Counselor Jordan. Where's your trusty camp counselor, Jim, huh? He's taking a shower. Huh. At this time, really. A lot of counselors are showering right now. Why would we lie to you? I don't know, Millie. Why would you? I, um... Uh, maybe they're having an orgy. Damn it! I mean, oh, awful, horrible. And, and there was an invite? Did you see one? And what did it look like? No. He's taking a shower because he said he smelled like cheese. He does sometimes, but still I'll have to go check on him. In the shower? That's a little creepy. Are you saying I'm a little creepy? Uh, no, never. You're not creepy at all, Camp Counselor Durden. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to be seen as creepy. I'd hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it! Okay. Thanks. Well, we're all here. Um, you can go now. Oh, I think Cabin 5 said that they were throwing a rager or, like, having a seance or something. Right. Like that. Really? I told them... Anyways, well, uh, all right. Hope you folks enjoy your full moon tonight. And remember, if you hear a woman weeping in the woods, run the other way. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Shipper Cabin loves full moons. Ha! Ah, Millie. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah. Up in Shipwreck Cabin, it means we're all going to dance like the tides tonight. Ebb and flow. Ooh. Make hippies. Well, I hope that happens in your bunks. Oh, it will. Okay. Uh, well, we're all tired, aren't we, folks? Aren't we Ariel? Or should I say Samara? See, she's so knocked out. She fell asleep with her eyes open and can't even respond except by rolling her eyes or a knocked out head. Right. Well, uh, you folks enjoy your full moon. Uh, sleep tight and uh, <laughs> don't don't let uh, the whatever whatever bites on a full moon uh, bite you while you um while you're wiggling. I literally hate him. I wish we could kill him instead of Jim. He sucks. Sucks. Way to go, Ariel. You couldn't even back us up. Oh, fuck you too. I can use my middle finger too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, my middle finger, it's raised. Really, did you get that? 
<laughs> yeah, not that. Oh, did you like my stupid line about ebb and flow? I feel like that's how everyone sees us in this cabin. It's like there's more to being the cabin that loves the lake the most than ebb and flow. Come up with a new thing. Come up with a new thing. Right. Is Jim really taking a shower? I think so. Did I go film it? No. no. But I've already filmed everyone in the cabin showering. What? what? <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, except for one person. I did film one. They were singing. Who? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what? Showering. I just did. I know. You missed Durden. It. I mean. Poop. You can you say shit. We're not seven. Yeah, he said he was going to go check on you in the shower to see if we were <laughs> lying. Or having an orgy. A what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll clear it up. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Well, if you were going to worry, don't. I'll keep that in mind. How was your shower? Oh, fine. I ran into Julep on the way there. Oh. Ooh, Julep. Should we tell him? Tell me what? Uh, Marina. Tell me what? Marina, you can't keep any secret. What secret? Uh, uh shit. Well, well, sorry. Okay. They told me to keep it a secret, but I feel bad. I feel I have to tell you. Then tell me. Don't. Stay out of this mall. I need to know if someone is in danger. No one is in danger. Yet. Guys, no one is in danger yet. Jim, they told us to keep it a secret, but Ducky and Kappa are going out to the lake to... Skinny dip. Oh, oh God, no, that's dangerous. They're fine. You don't need to check on them. There are no lifeguards. Swim. I have to go find them. Marina, they're going to be so mad. You all stay here, okay? Lights out. They are in so much trouble. I am going to tell Durden and Dawn and everyone. God, if I lose another camper, I will absolutely be dead. I know it. Fuck. I mean, no. I mean, fuck. Fuck. Nice acting, losers. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Marina, you can't keep a secret. I didn't know what to say. Hope you can swim, Jim. That will help him. I know, but when it's too easy, it's boring. Are we all ready? Yep. I just hope my battery stays alive. But you didn't charge it? Yeah. Thank God. Jennifer. Here we come. Oh God, they've definitely drowned. I need to, oh God. You ready? I guess. I'm kind of scared. Get over it. You don't have time to be scared. Lights, camera, action. Action. Marina? You were right, Jim. I am a sea witch. What? Where's Ducky? Kappa? We tricked you, Jim. Is that Ariel? What is she no. doing? Oh my God, what the fuck? Millie, what are you doing? We need your help too. Ah, uh, shit, I just think the battery's dying. What? We're filming this? Mills, the only thing that should be dying is him. Come on. Fine, please. 
please, 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 please survive battery. This is for you, Dad. Wait! Please! Dad, this Jim. is for Jennifer! Jennifer, we love you! You're no Odysseus, Jim. Ah! Something bit me. It tastes kind of like cluck of fur. Great, great Grandma Nessie would be so proud. Wait till my mom hears about what I did with water tonight. The shape of water is shaking. <laughs> I hope my battery doesn't die. We look so cool. Guys, he's drowning. That's the point, buddy. Wait, stop. This is shut up and pull them out of water. Guys, it's charged. It's on. Time for concluding interviews. Oh. Millie. Anyone want to start? I just want to say that I don't even usually participate. Now that I think about like the history and like uh, sirens, we just sing and guys drown themselves. And like we had to, we had to um, hold on uh, underwater. You can like see the life drain from his, from his eyes. And Jennifer didn't even show up to collect him. Collect his body. Yeah. Right. It was... It was... It was so fun! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> <clears throat> What? Okay, okay, no, this is too much. I'm sorry, Mills, I'm sorry. What are you doing? No one is going to see this. We killed someone. It's what we do. Our parents did it too, hell, they probably still do it. Plus it's just audio. We're not our parents, I'm deleting this. It's the sound of our first kill. I don't care. Everyone's a 